Hey everybody, real quick, I just wanted to do another plan with me. I recorded one last week and I don't know what happened to it. Something with my footage. I'm not having some issues with iMovie. I don't know. I need, guess I need to look at some tutorials. But anyways, real quick, I just wanted to show you how I plan and future plan. So this is just one of those um, recollections uh, journals that I keep in my purse. And I have two books in it, a Midori grid for um, like jotting down and then a plain white one for scratching. And I do carry a regular Midori sometimes, not all the time, but my, it's not a Midori, I'm sorry, it's from Chic Sparrow. And it has like what um, Copic markers I have, what distress inks, what distress stains, um, just got some notes in there, some art journaling ideas, things like that. But I don't carry it around with me all day. And this one on the other hand I do, it's just real quick, real small, just stuffs in my purse. And I just keep it there for me to jot down like future plans and things because I I don't always carry, I don't carry like page flags with me or anything. So when I get ready to sit down and plan for the following week, I just open up to the page that I had started on. So I know like what appointments, what to do, things like that that I need to put. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit and pull out the pages that I'm going to use. And I made this kit or stickers, I guess. It's like yellow and gray and it's got like some elephants on it. Just something simple. I just wanted something a little bit different. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just put the, I guess, um, sticker that I made and I always like to just put some kind of quote up at the corner. I also right now I'm looking for some washi that's going to match the insert page, the little I guess quarter page because I didn't I didn't make any washi for that because I knew I wanted to use like the gray or something, something just a little bit different than what I had already printed up. So my quote says, I don't hold grudges, I remember facts. I picked that because the theme is an elephant. They're supposed to be able to remember all kinds of things, which I don't know how anyone knows that and whoever tested it, but the quote just kind of fit. So, and it's true. I mean, I, I don't hold grudges, but I do remember if someone screws me over, does something to me. It is what it is. So I'm just putting down the washi, I'm going to trim it down, and then I'm going to get out my hole punch, and I'm going to go ahead and punch the holes in it. I think I got this one a little bit crooked. I'm, I'm still having a hard time and struggling with doing this on video, I don't know what it is, but this is my favorite punch that I got from Amazon. Um, it's just a personal size, six hole punch. It works perfect. No issues with that and I've had it for a while. I think it was like, I don't know, like $14. Something like that, maybe less. Um, I made some, I guess, date covers, but I made them a little thin because I was trying to compensate for the elephant and I didn't think about the actual date. So I'm just laying down some little strips of um, washi, I guess. I won't say washi because it's not real washi material, but printed paper tape, I guess. <laughs> Sticker paper tape. And I'm just putting that down so that I can then put the little um, date covers on there that I had made. So I'm just going to do that real quickly across I think that my main issue is when I'm recording, I can't pull the paper close enough to me, so I can't look down straight, and so I'm like leaning over, trying not to get my head in there, and unfortunately, I seem to get stuff crooked, but it is what it is. After I put these down, then I'm going to just go through real quick and put a couple of pieces of more paper sticker tape that I made and I had made um, two different weekend banners and I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. I made one that had an elephant on each end and then I made one that was just the actual words. I just went, or the actual letters, I went with just the one that had the letters because I already had the whole um, elephant bit for the date so I didn't want to like oversaturate it with elephants so I thought it would be you know just real simple to just paste that on there and not have actual elephants but the ones with the elephants I actually made a little bit smaller. So here I'm just taking my um, I guess half sheet and putting on the washi. I'm going to do it on both sides and then um, hole punch it and then I'll start um, doing decorating that or putting my stuff down for that. And this week I'm actually going to do it a little bit different than what I have been doing. In the past I'll put my um, dinners up at the top and then I'll list out like my habit trackers for the week. Um, but this time I'm actually going to do my um, dinners and then put a section for to-dos because when I open it, it's usually this page facing forward. So I wanted my to-dos to be kind of up at front and center because last week I didn't get some of my to-dos done. I did do some of them, but I didn't do all of them. These are the little flags that I made um, to go. And so I just have alternating yellow and gray um, 
Monday through Sunday that I'm gonna put on here. And I do not cook every week. If we cook, then it'll be like leftovers the next day, or it's fin for yourself. I only have um, three kids at home. My I have a 22 year old who lives on her own. I have a 19 year old who is actually. She went to Sam Houston, but she actually is back home now, and she's going to a community college for this year because she wants to transfer to another college. Um, but before I let her just transfer school after school, I want her to go and get her, you know, some of the basics out of the way and prove to me that she's serious about school. She did good last year, but I still want her to, to just try a little bit harder close to home. So she's back at home, but she works full time. Um, then I have my 16 year old and a 15 year old and they eat meat out of house and home. So a lot of times they're old enough, they can go in there and fix themselves something to eat. So I don't always cook. My husband's in class two nights a week. So sometimes I come home and have me time, watch YouTube or just whatever. So these are the two habit trackers. I failed last week at my tracking my habits. I drank soda and I didn't go to the gym. I suck. It is what it is. This week, I'm going to try to track no bread because I want to do seven days no bread. And then I also want to do no sodas. So that's what I'm really trying to do is get off of soda. So I'm going to track the days that I don't do soda. So right now, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing. And I'm sorry for the lighting change. This was, um, I was filming by a window. And for some reason, it got cloudy. And I guess my camera just decided to kind of overcompensate. I'm filming in an HD camera, so I don't know what's going on with this thing. Um, listing out driver's ed, because I've got driver's ed for my son. And there you go. You see the light kind of like open back up a little bit. I don't know what was going on. Um, I was struggling with some stickers. Oh, <laughs> for Monday, I just did nope, 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 because <laughs> I hate Mondays. They're so hard. Um, last week, I think I did a big F you Monday. <laughs> Sorry for those of you who, you know, don't like cursing in. I didn't say the word. I just said F you. Uh, then I'm also going to list out um, editing because I filmed this on Sunday, but I'm actually hoping to get it edited on um, Monday. And I'm even actually, I'm hoping I can get it uploaded, but if not, it'll be uploaded on Tuesday. But it is Monday, it is Monday and I am editing it at this time and doing the voiceover right now. I put myself down a little reminder because I need to remember um, something that I want to make sure I get done, a call that I need to make. Um, I'm expecting some um, a phone call about something, so I want to remind myself to double check my voicemail. I do have a bill due that I am going to pay. I know if anybody watched my video before, I said that I don't do the bills and my husband does the bills. However, that has just changed. My husband um, is an accountant, but he's also going to school right now, um, working on, um, I guess, so he can sit for his CPA or whatever. And so he just has a lot on his plate. And um, we just decided that I'll just take it back for right now. So I'm trying to figure it all back out because it's been so long since I've actually had to pay the bills. So I'm having to pay attention to when things are due and all that. Um, again, there goes my light again. I don't know what is wrong. Um, I put for Tuesday because I am getting up so early and I have to be at work so early this week. I'm working like 6 to 3.30 or 6 to 3 because my son has driver's ed. And even though I have two kids here with driver's license and cars, they all have things to do. My oldest starts football camp because he plays varsity football. Then my oldest, she is working, so she can't do it. And then my husband is obviously working. And then he has class on Mondays and Wednesdays. So, yep, me. I get to be the taxi. I get to drive everybody around. I get to do all this stuff. So it's just my 15-year-old, and it's only for another it's this week and next week. So uh, hopefully it'll be done not too, you know, soon. Um, I do have a doctor's appointment Wednesday morning, so I put that down, and then I do want to weigh myself because I'm working on just, you know, trying to move a little bit more and eat a little bit less. And then also, I have a happy hour. Some girlfriends of mine are having a happy hour. I'm hoping I can go. Um, just depends on how things work out. Um, I have some medicine that I'm going to, I want to start tracking that I start um, on Thursday with, so I made this little pill icon because there's four different um, 
pills and things that I need to take. It's morning, mid-morning, lunch, and dinner. And so I made this so that I could check it off when I actually make it. Um, it's payday, so I made this little flag, and it says payday on it. And I put a little pig e bank, piggy bank, because I want to go to the actual bank, because my money comes into one account, and um, then I go and pull it and put it into an account that we share, and we like pay bills out of or whatever. So I need to go to my credit union, pull money, drop it off into our bank account um, on Friday. Yeah, what a great Friday night! I'm doing some laundry. Also, Friday, I know that um, I have a driver's ed again, of course, that's every day. And then I know we're going to do something. We usually either go out to eat as a family or something. So I'm sure Friday night, I'm keeping this box here because I'm going to put a little family night sticker there. And this is my little Friday yay that I made. It didn't say yay, it just says, says Friday. And then for Saturday, oh, I have forgot my pill thing for Friday. And then for Saturday, I'm putting the pill um, trucker down. And then I'm also listing, I got to go grocery shopping on Saturday. Oh my gosh, I did not realize I'm off frame. I'm sorry. Um, I got to go grocery shopping. And then I'm going to see a movie. Kind of hesitant on saying what movie it is because people are probably going to think something's wrong with me. But I'm going to see the sausage movie. I just think that is hilarious. Uh, my husband, I don't know, he's not really into, he thinks it's kind of dumb, but I just, I love Seth Rogen and his voice and some of the stuff and just some of the movies that he does are just so stupid, but they're so funny. So I want to go to that. Um, I want to remember to get up and go to church on Sunday. And then after that, I plan on having some me time. I'm going to do some planning on Sunday and um, I leave that big box on there because there's so many shows that we watch on Sunday that we try to catch one of the, um, I guess, what do you call it? Those planner stickers are kind of big that I made. I need to make smaller versions. The the shows that we watch, one of them is on demand. They're, books, they're all on demand, but one of them comes on a little earlier so we can watch it on demand early instead of the actual show time. And then they all three come on at the same time. But, um, oh, and I'm getting my nails done on Saturday, so that's why I put the little nail icon there that I made. Um, and I'm putting my little to-do um, bullets down. I just, I, I like the little dots so I can check things off instead of actually drawing them on. It just adds a little bit more color. Um, <clears throat> but the three shows that we watch are Survivor's Remorse, um, Power, and Night Of. And I don't know if anybody is familiar with Night Of, but that is an amazing show. So I'm showing you right here what I actually made. Now, real quick, I'm going to just show you um, how I do this. I have this template that I keep that I made and then I have um, this other one. So what I do is I look at my week that I just planned and try to figure out what I need to make sure gets accomplished. And I kind of, I think I do it a little bit backwards than what everyone else does. So I move my to-dos over automatically. And the reason why I move them over automatically is because I know I put them in, I'm putting in my planner what I need done. But the reason why I move them over is because if I don't complete them, they stay on there and I don't have to go back one, two weeks to look and see, oh, okay, well, this to do is still on this one because I never moved it. So I just, I don't do anything special with this. I don't do a lot of crazy, you know, journaling, but see, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get very many. And so what I'm doing is migrating those four over onto next week because they're in my planner. I want to make sure I get them done. And that way, if I did do them, when I come to um, plan this coming up Sunday and plan week of August 15th through the 21st, I can look on here and say, okay, in my planner, I did accomplish these tasks. So let me go ahead and check these off or migrate them to the following week. So that's kind of how my mindset is. I list out appointments. Um, then I sometimes will just kind of leave it just as that. And then I'll put the book back in. And I keep keep this with me because I don't know when things change or when I need to add things. Um, and then my little um, template just goes in my um, planner just like that. So the other green one just goes in my little pencil bag and I carry a big purse. This all fits. So that's it. Thank you very much, you guys.